Drama for your mama. Welcome to the interview with a man. Episode 198. How's everybody doing today? Welcome. It is January 28th, 2020, the year of plenty. And I am here with a message from the great Alpha God in the sky. No, I'm not talking about Rolo Tomasi because he's still with us here on the planet Earth. But, gentlemen, today's going to be a wonderful show as usual. Why? Because I have got the hot dude army listening in. Man, we just had the closing ceremony for the three weeks of the masculine empowerment network we had 38 coaching sessions two hours minimum over the past three weeks two hours in the morning two hours at night we had experts with cryptocurrency seduction sex yes an actual porn star came in there and gave techniques and strategies for making your sex life 
even more invigorating and getting them addicted because giving good dick, that's a good way to get her hooked. All right, that's how you get a stalker. We had Roll Tomasi come through and give us some red pill philosophy. We had Richard Cooper come through, give us the fucking red pill of money, finances. We had Ryan Stone come through there and do his thing. Man, Ryan is such a good, uh, like, you know, he's such a professional. This one guy was giving him his, his spiel about what he was going through, and Ryan was sitting there with, like taking notes and everything on his computer and going point by point and really handled it like a super professional. I don't know if you guys seen Ryan's recent video um, on his channel talking about like is game still necessary, but you really need to check that video out because it's really good. He paid like um, some video assistant or video editing guy to help him out. It took 10 hours to make the video. Very, very amazing video. Um, you know, what? I'm not, fuck it. I'll, I'll just I'll I'll show you guys uh, what the video is. I'm not gonna actually play the video, but I'll just show you on um his channel. I did say Ryan Stone, right? I didn't say Ryan Johnson. I hope I didn't say Ryan Johnson, but Ryan Stone. Uh, so check it out. Uh, here he is, right here. Ryan Stone, the case for game. This video right here. Bro, okay, I'll I'll just play the quick. Like, just take a look at the intro real quick. The intro is so fucking dope. Look at this. Take a look at this. So this place has a bit of a reputation. The guys that like it, love it. The guys that could take it or leave it, really hate it. And the guys that are okay about it, can't stand it. I mean, where else are you going to find... A group of unattractive, socially awkward people, but in a space that's geared towards actually working on those things. So as a public a service announcement. That's all you get. You got to go to his channel and take a look at it. It is fucking phenomenal. Seriously, you guys check it out. After you watch, don't you dare turn away from my channel right now. Um, he came through. We had Charlie from Cultivate Crypto come through. We had a live BDSM demonstration performed by Vince from Masculine Geek. We had Jesse, a sheriff in the United States, uh, give a breakdown on the entire domestic violence situation going on in the United States right now. We had Myron Gaines give an amazing fucking presentation on nutrition and fat loss. We had Joe from ProudMasculine.com. He gave an amazing presentation and helped me really run the entire thing as well. Um, gave a presentation on uh, proper uh, circuit training for you guys that just want to get in, do an hour of the gym, handle your muscle and cardio at the same time. He handled that. Uh, there were just so many more high-value things. I, I just don't want to sit here and name them off, but we, we closed them up. Everything's being recorded. Everything was recorded. Everything's being edited. I mean, hell, we even had UFC veteran John Fitch come through and do a QA. and I mean, the value is just through the roof, and this is just going to keep growing and growing and growing and getting better and better and better. I mean, seriously, just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So um, we, wrap, we wrapped that up yesterday. Shall I should I fire up should I fire up the phone lines? Are we gonna have an interactive show today? What do you see? What do you say? Get some can we get some flame and eggplant emojis in the chat? Your choice. Flame and or eggplant. Holler at your boy. Let me know if you want to have the phone lines open. Are we cool? Are we okay? Josh has got he hit me with the flame and the eggplant at the same time. Let's see who else is in the house. Bruce Jones with the eggplant. How we doing? We're looking good? I feel like you guys want the show to have call-ins today. Let's see. Uh, but, yeah, they're just absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I've got an avocado. I'll take that as an eggplant. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Let me fire up the phone lines real quick. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio. Please enter... To start your show now, press 1 to hear important. Your show will go live in 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. 
All righty, phone lines are open. Love Talk Radio. 657 1331. I'm going to hit you with the Japanese eight. Eight. Call on in. I'm in the chair. We're here to talk about everything. It has just been, oh my God, Nigerian Don. That's hilarious. I can't believe that thing exists. Oh, the, the, the eggplant with the flame, it does not mean you have an STD. Do not worry, okay? Let's talk about life. Let's talk about that. So top five things that signal high status for dating in 2020. Oh, shall we? Now, why? Why should we talk about signaling high status, right? Guys, let's be honest, okay? We all want to have sex with a lot of women, right? A lot of beautiful, cute, young, thin, and or fit women, right? Who are we lying? Who are we lying, right? There's only two guys that will disagree. Gay dudes and liars, right? Everybody else wants to bang. So we're going to talk about how to signal high status and what this is going to do. It's really going to just, one, you have to realize this, right? Status is important. Status is extremely important because women really care so much about their reputation, all right? That is absolutely imperative. And we're going to talk about that here today let me take a look here what we got on okay we got a call on the air i'll bring them on just for the hell of it two on five you are live hey john hey who this you hear me this is guac it's extra guac in the house what it do baby what up? yeah 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 so um i haven't had the chance to um, shared this in a webinar because every time the webinar happened, I, I was um, working on something. I was like driving, mm -hmm. um, trying to go to sleep. So in in relation to signaling high value, I could, uh, can I share just like a quick story about a um, uh, a girl, like a uh, new lay, I guess. Sure. From um, recent. Sure. Yeah. So I, so I uh, took this, so I met this girl at a house party and um, and I had several other friends there and they were um, they were teeing me up about like what I did. Like I'm really good at my, um, you know, uh, craft and kind of well known in the photography industry. So mm -hmm. that kind of gave me like um, like group social proof. And then there was this chick that, uh, um, you know, she was getting touchy and all and. And because of that, I took advantage and I got, you know, the high value um, male kind of um, because because of my friends that were giving me social proof. Mm -hmm. So I was able to take that girl home. And um, so I think I um, banged her twice now. But on the second one, it's a ridiculous story. I got to share it real quick. Mm -hmm. So this girl, right, she um, she has a cat. So when we went back to her place, mm -hmm. um, when we got to her room, this is the craziest thing that ever happened to me. So And when we were getting it on, so the cat was like, she left the cat outside of the room. And then when we were going at it, we hear all these like crazy scratching noise like on the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stupid cat was trying to get it. <laughs> Probably because could hear all the action and then oh my god it was hilarious so we had to stop and she had to like open the door and talk to the cat which is like oh my god that's the craziest thing uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay I, I just had to share that i don't get it <laughs> so you had sex and the cat was scratching on the door and this is high status about you i don't get it well no this is just the second time uh -huh. um about the high status was like I was able to take her home that first time I ah, met her. because people knew you for ph because of photography. Yeah, yeah, and I had friends there, um, and they were kind of like you know, um, uh, 
social like friends and and when i met this girl we were in a conversation and um my friends kept like telling me what i did you know for a living and like he's really good check out his work and then um <laughs> and i already noticed this chick was you know showed some um i guess ioi you know getting touchy and you know? all mm-hmm. <laughs> like asking about me and then so i kind of got the hit of um you know oh so i got social proof for my friends maybe i could try to get this girl home so i just asked her hey um i have some more drinks at my place i want to want to you know um get a few uh shots like we could split a bottle or something and then first she hesitated she said uh let me let me let me think about it and then um i just told her hey what's your hesitation and then she's like oh good question I was like, and then she just like agreed, like, okay, let's go. I was like, oh shit, all right, it's on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I took her home that night. Okay. Um, same 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 day that I that I same evening that I met her at this house party. Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's... and then the cat thing happened. Like, I guess a week later. Well, that, that's it, that's. Uh, I mean, it's always good when you have status and everything that that leads you to making it a lot easier. We're gonna talk about that to, that today, um, as well. The guys in the in the chat, dressed, dressed the guys in the chat are making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you, dog. It, it was, it's more for entertainment, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Listen, thanks was, for calling was, in. I'm gonna continue on the show. Bro. You're the man, Guac. All right. Thanks, man. Take care, buddy. <laughs> Peace out. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Guac. What a great guy. If you know, everybody, you guys, you guys in the community know who Guac is. He's always got some fucking hilarious story, whether it's <laughs> whether it's Venezuelan hotties or. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. So. Uh, if you guys want to call in, and uh, by all means, you know the the loan the lines are open again six five seven three eight three one three one eight. No call is too small. Come on in, come on down. Let's talk about this, shall we? Who wants to jump right into it? Let's guys. Okay, here's the thing, gentlemen. Today we're gonna talk about your physical appearance, basically. Okay. Physical appearance and physical appearances. We got five, and I got a bonus meme at the end. Bonus one, right? Let me know if you're interested in the bonus one at the end of the show. If you don't like it, we'll just cancel. We'll just we'll just end the show, right? But let's talk about this. We got another caller on the air. I think I know who this is. 610, what up? What's up? Modern life dating. Hello, Aaron. How are Boy, that you? That was a good. That was a. Oh yeah, it's your favorite um, arrogant player here. <laughs> Just calm um, down. We love you. Retired. We love you. Retired. Retired player. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> yep, I believe you. Um, hey, awesome! Awesome closing webinar last night. It was great to hear all the feedback from a lot of the Q4 guys, even some of the guys that have been in there for a little bit who have had significant changes in their lives, you know, like guys that are kind of coming up in their own grind, you know, young, young bucks like Trey, even, even good to hear from guys like Myron, who you can tell like have his shit together. Mm -hmm. Um, Still, still getting value. uh, What you put together. Uh, I didn't get a chance. I, I, I took my opportunity to talk about myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and didn't get a chance to um, shine a little bit of light on you for doing all this, uh, doing all this hard work and getting this group assembled. John, you know your guys. Yeah, like you, you, you know us pretty well. Yes, I you, do. you know you're all, and you're you're on top of that. You're really on top of that. Like this is something that's inside of you. You have a lot of passion about this, and um, you know you're a gatherer and an influencer of men, Thank a you. leader of men. I think. Um, and you, you, you deserve all the, um, all the fruit on your tree currently. And and that's coming to you, my friend. 
Thank you very um, much. Now, on to the top five. On to the top five things that signal high status dating in 2020. Um, I just wanted to throw a few out there that can provide a little bit of fodder for your show and for all of us hot dudes to t- uh, consider. Okay. And number one, I think you, number one, you you, you really got to have your physique in order. Oh, hold like, on, time out, I, time out, time out. I I I gotta I gotta do the show. So I I listen, listen, listen. I appreciate you calling in. <laughs> I don't want to hear your top five. I got to do my top five, dude. Oh, Listen. no, you don't want to hear my top five? No. All I t- right. Call, call okay. it right. at the I'll end. I'll let you do your show. Call in at the end. I'll and let then you do your show. We'll let you, we'll, <laughs> we'll let you, we'll hear yours out then. I'll call back, okay? Let me let me handle it first, then we'll hear yours. Yeah. <laughs> right. I promise, That's buddy, good. okay? At the end. But you got to give me a speed All round. Right, you got to give, You got to give it to me in under five minutes, okay? All right, let me before I let you go. Just you're a man. Thank you. Knock you are the show too. out. Take care, buddy. <laughs> oh fucking air! I love Aaron. What a great guy. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so here's the deal. Oh, <laughs> Nigerian Don calling me fat. You're, right. you know what? I, I will – it's a terrible line in the sand to draw, but at least I'm not as fat as DDJ, right? <laughs> at least I'm not that guy in general. Good Lord. I'm going to go make out with the mirror right now. I'm so happy I'm not that guy. Um, okay. So let's talk about this. Number five. Are you ready? I know Aaron's going to like this one. Now, number five is – is extremely important. Now, with the top five things that signal high status for dating. Now, it's important to understand that my great friend, who really opened my eyes to the world of womanizing, his nickname is Beaver, right? And Beaver really enlightened me with so many things early on in my life. And he told me the number one, he says, you know, we were at the gym one day and he's like, you got to realize, man, these bitches are vain. These bitches are vain, man. And listen, today we're talking about things that are seen externally, right? It's another thing to have your inner game sorted out, which you should do, but it takes a little bit longer to sort out the inner game. So if you want to sort out the external game, We're going to talk about that today. Number five, gentlemen, you have got to have your fashion sorted out. Guys, all you American fellows, right? My fellow Americans, American people have some of the worst fashion in the entire world period okay it is absolutely atrocious watching some of the americans and not some a staggering majority of people in the world okay in in america rather with their Terrible, terrible fashion. Unkempt clothing. Okay? Unkempt hair. Unkempt beards. Unkempt... I mean, dirty shoes. The list goes on and on and on. Walking around... With your fucking ass crack hanging out. Your clothing is dirty. Stinky. You're wearing fucking sweatpants. And a hoodie. And sandals everywhere. Guys. Absolutely atrocious. Okay. If you want. 
to be an above average man, to have an above average sex life, you have got to be wearing proper clothing. So what are the rules? Let's talk about that. Okay. Ideally, the best thing you want to have about yourself going on is all your clothes is clean, wrinkle-free, stain-free, and well-fitting. Not too big, not too tight. You want to be looking good. You don't want to be looking like some slob who just rolled out of his own fucking bed of Cheeto dust, okay? You don't want to be giving speeches at political rallies wearing your apron from Albertsons. You don't want to be walking around with unkempt hair. This shows the world that you don't get it. You don't get it, okay? You got to find your fashion and make it work for you, okay? And it doesn't even need to be good. It doesn't even need to be insane, okay? Like, take a look here. I'm gonna. I have a little bit of example right here, okay? Um, so we got right here. Take a look here, right? So this one's bad because you can, if you look closely, and I, this is how meticulous I am. So pants are okay. I mean, the outfit is okay, but you see this. The shirt is a little too baggy in the torso area, and you can see it's wrinkled, okay? This guy, no. No. You see, if this shirt was a little bit, like, one size smaller and not wrinkled in the torso area right here, it would be way better. This guy, hot dude, dot O-R-G. Look at this guy killing the game, right? Hugs his chest just a little bit here, right? Hugs his, his arms, his biceps. Well-fitting shoes, wearing white shoes, very clean. Okay, these are really good. Homeboy on the right here, nice belt, good shirt, tucked in pants. Honestly, the shoes could. That should, I mean, this is okay for a casual look. Honestly, he could. He he should be wearing some nice brown shoes here, to be honest, in my opinion. But this is good. This is an example of good fashion, right? If you even this, look at this. Some people may say this is not bueno. This this is how you stand out. Right here. Uh, this shirt is fire, bro. I would wear this shirt. I would wear this shirt with the gold chains and everything. Okay? Well-fitting. Take a look at his facial hair. Perfectly groomed. Look at his haircut. Great haircut. Right? Again, even if you're going to do something casual and sporty like this. Look at this. Right? Well-fitting shirt. Some track pants and some shoes. Right? This is casual, but he looks good. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm saying? Let's see some more examples. This is phenomenal. This is really good, right? This is a little bit more. This is a little bit more on the flashy side, but again, you see how the shirt is not too tight, but it's nice and snug around his arms. The jeans aren't too tight, right? Just a little high. He has them rolled up. Clean white shoes. Your shoes have to be clean, guys. If you're walking around with dirty shoes, get it together, Grouch. Get it together grouch no sir see this on the left hot dude life jonathan from modern life dating on the right slob dude life ddj from albertson's right look at this un untailored baggy suit looking like a stinking bum looking like you it looks like somebody took a trash bag and sewed a suit out of it on the right hand side Versus having a nice tailor suit in the left-hand side. Clothing that fits you and clothing that is clean and pressed. I mean, it's just night and day. It's night and day. Here's, another, here's a little less extreme example, but still. This boxy suit. No. Tailored. Nice fitting. This is how you do it. This is how you do it right here. Okay? Your fashion includes your haircut. Take a look at this, right? You need to be getting a haircut twice a month and an edge up once a week, okay? You need to be looking fresh 
like this. I, I recommend this kind of haircuts. Like, um, you know, find yourself a Puerto Rican. Okay, Puerto Rican guys, you give a Puerto Rican guy $20 and a straight razor and some clippers, he's going to have you looking like the fucking freshest motherfucker on the planet in 20 minutes or less. All right, at least in Orlando, where I'm from, I, I went to the same Puerto Rican shop every single time. That's $20 including tip, 20 minutes in, out, shape. When you go to the, okay, so when you go to the uh, barber, you sit down. And I like to have some pictures like this. I save them to my phone. Make sure you're ready. Don't waste the guy's fucking time. Make sure you have the pictures ready, queued up, ready to go, and have an idea of what you want to look like, right? I would sit down always, and my man, his name is Berman. I would like Berman, dog. It was it was either Berman or I'm not even joking. This is the guy's real name. It was Jimmy Mo Dollars, right? I'm not even joking. His legal name was Jimmy Mo Dollars. M O D M O D O. L L A S Jimmy Mo Dallas. Look him up. He's he's in a fucking fantastic barber in Orlando, right? And um, you know, I'm a big fan of the skin fade on the side. Obviously, you can see I have it right now. Getting it nice and uh, blended up to the top. Make sure they line up your hairline as well, right? You see how it's nice and straight here, and then make sure they sort out your beard. Also, make sure. They trim up and line up your air, your eyebrows, right? It takes them two seconds. They take the blade, boom, boom, boom. You don't want to be having no stinking uh, unibrow or any, like, fucking little strands of, like, pubic hair-looking things growing out of your face. You don't want little plucks of hair on the side here. You want to make sure that you're looking clean and symmetrical. Did you guys know that the basis of all attraction is symmetry? Okay. Symmetry is key. This right here shows a woman that you are a guy that has your shit together. And it doesn't need to be this. I just typed in skin fade, man. But it could be like, you know, like a like if you just want to do like a crew fade, this is good. Or if you want to do like, like this is good, like like this is this is solid. Okay. Uh this, this, eh, I don't like that. This is a little much. This is a little too high for me. I'm not really a big fan of that. But if, like, you want to do a crew fade, or let's say, like, uh, let's say if you want to do like a, like a comb over fade. Okay, a little bit more traditional, like this. This is good. Uh, like this. This is good too, right? You want to throw the line on your head? That'll make you stand out. Like this, this is really good. The, the, the dude, this guy right here is hotdude.com. This guy definitely gets put, like tons of looks. He's this is like an example of a guy that's like almost beautiful. But you can see, you could see like I could see it because I have the eye. I could see you know the, the the lining up here should could be done a little bit better. I think this is a couple days after, but you could clearly see eyebrows are shaped up. The beard is nice and shaped up. He doesn't have a fucking neck beard. He has a little bit growing. And this is me being extremely, extremely picky. Um, but this is a great haircut too, right? You don't want to be walking around with like fucking this, this thing growing out and shit. You want to be shaving the morning of before you go out at Friday night or Saturday, morning, Saturday night, okay? This is another good one here, right? Nice, clean symmetrical you want to be looking good you can't be this is I, I love this this is fucking really good that's a nice head of hair nice comb over um again look at the beard how nice and shaped up it is guys this lets a woman this lets a woman know that you've got your shit together and this also lets people know that you're working with business colleagues associates that you just care about yourself okay that you're that you like actually love yourself okay uh, okay. S H. Listen, I know you're new here, but can you just can you chill with all those types of remarks, buddy? I love you, man. Charlie, uh, can you just police the chat just a little bit for me, guys? You gotta be careful which which you type in there, okay? Please help a brother out. Smash that like button as well, okay? Thank you, S H. Much love to you, dog. Seriously, love you a lot. Um. That is number five, good fashion and good hair, good grooming, all right? 
think about this. How many of you guys have had sex with a girl or you've been sleeping with a girl or dating with a girl and watched her get ready to go out with you? Or even your sister or even your mom. How many of you guys have watched a woman get ready? And tell me, how long does it take? Type it in the chat right now. Type it in the chat right now. How long does it take? Okay. Atham, six hours. Filbert, a fuck ton. Masquerade, 20 minutes. What kind of pig are you dating? <laughs> Daniel, an hour. Bugwit, hours. D Money, 45 minutes. Angelo, hours. Bruce, hours. Ben H, too long. Nigerian Don, two hours. As Destin case is three days. Adam Simmons also says three days. Ahmed, one hour, 30 minutes. Guys, women, they get in the shower. First, they got to wash their hair. Then they got to condition their hair. And then they got to exfoliate their skin. And then they got to do the body scrub. Then they got to take the, the, what, I forget what it's called, the something stone, the pumice stone, scrub their feet, file down their fucking calluses on their heels and everything, okay? That's just inside the shower. Then they get out of the shower. Now they dry their face off. Now they're putting on the toner, okay? They're putting on toner. They're wiping their face. They're putting moisturizer on their face. Then they get out, and then now it's time to blow dry your hair. Then they blow dry their hair, make sure it's done properly. Sometimes they have to hit it with the curling iron, all right? She is then moving on to her makeup. Now she has to put on her foundation. She has to put on her mascara. She has to put on her eyeliner. She has to put on her lipstick. She has to put on her lip gloss. She has to put on her powder, okay? Then she has to put on her outfit. Now she's laying down on the bed, scooting up her pants, or jeans, so she could fucking <gasps> inhale and squeeze into them, right? Then she fucking, then she has to put on her bra, and she's got to push her breast up. Sometimes women are wearing, they wear corsets. She got to put on her little corset. You think women aren't wearing corsets? They are, okay? She's got to choose her panties. She's got to choose her bra, make sure they're match if she's feeling like fucking or if she knows she's going to fuck a dude or potentially going to fuck a dude, right? Not to mention before that, she's got to shave her pussy. She's got to groom her pussy hair. She's got to shave her legs. She's got to shave her arms. She's got to shave her armpits. Okay? These things all take time. And more importantly, because this is part of their daily routine when they're going out, they noticed when other girls do it, when other girls don't do it, and more importantly, they notice when other men do it. Most men don't do it. Most men don't give a shit about their physical appearance. And then they wonder, Oh, why doesn't she love me for me? Dude. Are you joking me? Do you work at Albertsons? Are you serious? They absolutely care. They absolutely notice. Okay? This is extremely important. Okay? Fashion, grooming, hygiene. Mongo Box Crusher, awesome. Mongo Aggression, is that you? He says, good grooming is healthy self-respect that projects you value yourself. Oh, wow. Okay. Mongo Brox Crusher, welcome. I have another friend who calls himself Mongo. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm very, I'm very conscious of the way I look, and I can't be going out looking like a fucking bum. I can't be out going looking like a slob. It's just not, not what I do. Not my thing will never be my thing. And that's why I've slept with so many women. If you think this doesn't matter, you're a fucking fool.
okay? You don't know the sh you don't know the fuck you're talking about. This absolutely matters. You don't believe me? Try it. Number four. This is a little more down the road. However, this one's important, okay? This one's actually very, very important. This has cost me pussy in the past before because sometimes I just wasn't ready. And we always know, always be pimping, always be sourcing, always be closing, and you got to always be ready, okay? The next one is you got to have a clean home. Some of you guys live like a fucking tribe of baboons. I wouldn't be surprised if you were flinging shit around at each other at that house. Guys, some of your houses are fucking disgusting. I see it on the consultations. If you do not have a clean home and you're not going to bring and you're intending to bring a girl over, guys, You're you're cruising for a bruising. You've got to have your clean house. Okay? A woman wants to feel comfortable in her surroundings. She doesn't want to come over to some fucking stinking trap house with dog shit and dog scent and all that crap going on around her. If you want to deal with no nasty ass toilet with your shit stains on it cuz I know some of you bums have fucking shit stains on your toilet. You better go to the dollar store and get a dollar brush. You take that toilet brush. You take some pine saw. Throw it in there. If you're too cheap, just throw a cap of bleach in there. Flush it and scrub it around. You don't want that toilet. Let me see if I can find the toilet. God, I'm, oh, God, I'm not going to see some nasty shit on Google just typing that in. Toilet ring. St okay, look. If, like, if you have. Okay. You see this? Let me show you. This. You see this? If your toilet looks like this, you see this? These uh, up at the at the ledges at the uh, at the levers here too. If your toilet is nasty like this, shame on you. Shame the fuck on you. You need to go and scrub your toilet today. Okay. You see this disgusting ass ring right here? You got this going on? That's nasty, bro. You need to live clean. That's disgusting. If you got cleaning ladies and they're not doing this, you need to fire those cleaning ladies. Okay, look at this. Some people are living like this, nasty ass toilets. Women notice all these things, especially when they go to your house. You see this? You got the fucking Niagara Falls, the toilet stains here. These little nasty ass things. No, no, no. You know what that signals? They are low status bum. You're okay living in your own filth. Okay, is your living room covered in trash and boxes and clothes and everything? Your, is your sink full of dirty ass dishes? No. No. You go to the fucking dollar store, you pay $1. You get, let me show you, for you guys, you get a toilet brush cleaner with a, a container that covers it. Let me show you how it works. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice one. So you want to get something like this. You see this? This completely conceals the brush end. All right? You, you do that. All right? These types here, I don't like them because once the toilet brush starts to get some uh, miles on it, it um, it, you can see the the top of it. It's disgusting. I like the ones like this. Like they're completely concealed. You see that? You just tuck it in there and that nobody sees anything. You tuck it behind the toilet. That's that's good. This is like I have this one in my house like this. I just tuck it away and nobody sees it. I scrub my toilet probably at least – I probably scrub my toilet at least five times a week. And it doesn't take a long time. All you need to do – is when you use the bathroom and you start to see little stains or whatever, you just 
put a little cleaner, drop, all you need is like a cap full, a little cap full of cleaner, boom, throw it in there, right? Flush the toilet to get the everything going, and then you get in there and you spin it around, you shuffle it around, and you gotta get it a good nice whisk. Careful, because one time I was doing this and I fucking flung some toilet water in my mouth. It was fucking disgusting, it was terrible. I don't recommend it. Careful when you're doing this, don't get it in your eye tube when you're spinning it, right? Be careful when you're doing that. Last thing you want some doo-doo water in your eye. Uh, but that's what you want to do with your, um, your toilet dishes, no dishes in the sink allowed. Okay. No, sir. All right. Oh, infamous rifle. What's up, brother? Nice to see you in the house, man. That's, that's, this is the guy who, uh, provide all information for, uh, our number one Albertsons employee. Infamous Rival, thank you for popping in today, sir. Thank you so much. So, yeah, with your with your bedroom, right, if you want to bring a woman into your bedroom, your bed needs to be made, okay? Your pillows, if some of you, if some of you fucking hillbillies have, like, a white, a pillow that used to be white, but now it's like an off-white yellow because you're sweating into it all the time, all right? You need to throw those pillows away. That's disgusting. If you're... If your mattress looks like a fucking biohazard site from all the sex you're having, Scott Atham talking to you guys, make sure that your mattress is cleaned off. Make sure you clean off the mat or get a new mattress, okay? Can't be running around with all that. Um, it no bueno. No bueno, okay? Um, your refrigerator should be clean for your own personal standards too, right? Some of you guys have nasty ass old food in there. The corners of it are all nasty and chalked up with with black mold and stuff. No, 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 no. And she's probably not going to be going in your refrigerator if you're bringing it over to bang, but still, you never you like you got to remember these these women pay attention to all these things. Your bathroom sink, make sure you don't have any like toothpaste mold and rem remnants and all that stuff everywhere your mirrors make sure your mirrors don't have spots all over them okay hit it with the windex boom boom one two sprays paper towel bum 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 you're done it's that easy okay clean home when a woman walks into your home and it's clean the floors are clean you don't have no sticky floors no dirty spots or whatever your carpet's not disgusting Okay, make sure you vacuum your carpets, all that stuff. Throw some of the potpourri powder on the carpet when you vacuum it, and it smells good. It also needs to be clean, and, okay, the woman needs to know that it smells good, too. So women are huge on smells. Get some Glade plugins, spray some Febreze, whatever. If you're going out on a date and you know she's coming back before you leave, what I do, when I'm done cleaning the house, and I used to do this when I ran the Airbnb, too, I would hold down the Febreze button and it would be like spraying and I would walk through the entire house and just hold it up and leave it behind me right that leaves a nice good scent burn some I, I'm not a big fan of burning incense too much like you can burn them because I don't like I just kind of stinks too many I don't like incense smells however burning a um you know a nice smelling candles those are really good oh thank you Ryan Sullivan, thank you. He says, super chat for the kicks. Keep up the good work. Your presentation really has ramped up over the year. Thank you so much. This is very nice of you. Uh, if you guys want to make a donation, click on that link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. Every single donation is appreciated. Uh, also, consultations resume on February 1st. So check it out. Okay? Clean home signifies status. You know why, guys? We've talked about this as well, okay? We look, okay. Let's 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 just let me see if I could get this. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You guys want to see what most girls are living like? Those girls that you're worshiping. Do I need to remember? Do I need to remind you? Look at this girl. She's hot. She's a hottie. Look at this nasty-ass Somalian refugee camp she's living in. Look at that. That is disgusting. Okay? She is already living like this. And if she comes over to see you, 
She's going to think you're same to her. And women don't want a guy that's on their same level. They want a guy that's above. Okay? Look at this. Look at this. Can you go to the laundromat, please? Can you get all this stuff off your counter? Look at this. Bras on the floor. Nasty. Look at this. This is how most of these girls live. No bueno. Well, that's, she's, look at that. Look at this girl. Super hot, young, cute. And look at this trashed room behind. Look at, look at my lingerie and my completely destroyed home. You got to let them know these women want to come up when they're, they want to come up in the world when they're dating you. Okay? They, they don't want to be running no stinking ass home like that. No, sir. No, 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 sir. I have pulled chicks back from a night out. And it was at a period at the week. Because sometimes when I'm working really, really hard, I just like, I'm so laser focused, like my house gets dirty, right? And I'm not like, it's not like Somalian refugee camp dirty, but it's just like, you know, some some dishes are sometimes in the sink. Uh, you know, my bed may be unmade. Uh, there might be like, you know, uh, like I didn't take the trash out, right? There, so there's trash like kind of like I have to always have the trash can with the lid on it, right? And so like the trash will be up like that. Man, it is – it's not bueno. It's not bueno. It's not good. And it, and it costed me. And that girl was super hot, super, super fucking hot. And it costed me, and I was so mad at myself. Got to always be ready, okay? Number – Three, here we go. This is a big one. This is something that a lot of people don't realize and don't don't really factor in. But a lot of women pay attention to this as well. Okay. Number three is good skin. Yes, that is right. Good skin, guys. Let's get into the nitty-gritty here, okay? Gentlemen, if you don't think women look in your face, look at your face and take a look at your skin, you're out of you've you've got out of your mind, okay? Some of you guys walking around. I remember I went out pimping with one of my friends one time. Guy clearly doesn't have it together. He had a huge pimple right here and it wasn't like red it was red with the white pop like the white tip and i'm just like dude bro what the fuck did an alien lay an egg inside of your face get that fucking thing out of here go and pop that right now in the bathroom that is absolutely disgusting if you have a bunch of pimples okay Jen, you got to be washing your face. You got to be taking care of your skin. If your nose is covered in blackheads, all right? If you're okay, for you guys that don't know what blackheads are, let me show you what blackheads are. Okay? Blackheads means you have skin or you have dirt lodged in your skin. All right? So, here you go. Here's some examples. Right here. You see this? These can evolve and get way worse. So if you have like these little things on your skin and around your face and your cheek, you got to get these out. Okay, you could squeeze these out or you can get little strips that you put on your nose. Like actually here, we are. here's an example right here. These strips right here and you could pull them out. These things are absolutely atrocious. Okay, if you constantly walk around with acne and bad skin, you need to get it fixed. You need to treat your skin. You need to wash your face. All right? I personally, I'm I'm 34 years old. I don't feel like I look 34 whatsoever. I definitely don't act 34. I definitely don't feel 34. I love I just live in life. I love my life. But I you got to put the I use the clay mask, all right? 
And, you know, anybody who wants to shame you and be like, oh, what are you gay or are you fucking pussy or blah, blah, blah. No, I'm a man who understands that I am in a biological unit that is aging every single day with gravity pulling down on me. And I know that youth is attractive and I want to preserve my youth and take care of this organic unit as long as I can as it inevitably degrades into death. Okay, there's your fucking red pill. That is the truth right there. There's nothing wrong with taking care of your skin. Sun King, Sun King, Sun King you're absolutely wrong. He's saying do not pop your acne. It leads to scars. Absolutely incorrect, dude. Absolutely incorrect. If, if, if the whitehead surfaces, do you want me to put pictures of a whitehead on here? I will show you what whiteheads look like, okay? Let me show you. All right, since you want to get, you want me to gross out everybody in the audience, all right, look, here's an example right here. You see, when you have pimple like this, this is ready to be popped, and you just squeeze it lightly, and it will pop, okay? Something like this, this is ready to be popped. Okay, you squeeze them and you pop, you get it off. You go in your room, you go into the mirror or you go to the bathroom, you squeeze it, you pop it, squeeze it gently, and then you wipe it away with the tissue. And if you want to take a little bit of alcohol, you could put it on there, just on the actual area because alcohol does dry out your skin. But if you just put a little bit to sterilize it, that's if you guys are like, oh my God, I'm going to die, you know, for all you paranoid peters out there just put a little bit of alcohol on it and you'll be good to go sometimes it'll bleed just a little okay um make sure you just you know put a little uh tissue on it you'll be good to go but you can't be going out with these big old nasty skin fucking looks like a fucking alien latched onto your face and just fucking laid eggs on you okay doesn't work like that Right? So, there are many ways, like, you know, there's so many ways. If you, have ac if you have acne, it could be genetic. It could be you're just kind of, like, if you're, like, a mechanic or if you work, you know, when you work at fast food, when I used to work at Chick-fil-A, um, my, my uh, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of oil involved in Chick-fil-A, right? French fries, um, chicken breasts, chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. Oh, I'm so hungry for some Chick-fil-A right now. Um, somebody mailed me some Chick-fil-A, <laughs> but there, there's oil in the air and oil in the atmosphere. And then, you know, inevitably your skin is going to be more oily. So if you're working in that kind of environment, trying to come up in life, you know, sometimes we got to work these things. I worked them before you need to, uh, make sure you take care of yourself. Okay. And your skin, good skin. It's beautiful. Shows. That you love yourself. Somebody says you can recommend any clay products uh, for your mask. Honestly, guys, you just need a green. Like, okay, let me just show you how this works, okay? To be honest, you just need. They, they have them at CVS, they have them at Walgreens. These are all like crazy expensive ones. Let me see. Okay, here. This is an example of a decent one, right? Uh, the Freeman. Freeman is a good brand. All you need to do is just put it on your face. Oh, wow. They ha I have this one in my room. Cool. Yeah, you just put this on. Boom, 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 boom. Right? You're going to coat your face like this right here. Put a nice coat on. You'll feel it get hard. And when you start to talk and the, and the mask, like, starts cracking, that's when you know it's time to take it off. I personally, I like to keep it on for, like, 30 minutes. Because it's really good for your skin because it also pulls out all the like a lot of impurities on the surface level of your skin. Do that. You need to do this like once or twice a week. You know, sometimes I used to do this too and you could do it as well. Call over one of your girls that you're banging. Have, come over. Bring her over. Have sex, right? And then after you're done having sex, pop in the shower with her and be like, yo, let's do some, let's do some facial treatments, right? And just do that with her. And, sh and they will like that. They'll enjoy it. And they'll, you know, when was the last time they actually had a guy that dicked them down proper, and then after they had a nice shower, 
nice cleanup session. Make sure she's washing you, right? I always get my girls to wash me. And, um, you know, make sure you put the clay mask on and you both are just chilling out in your clay mask treatment. It's cool. And then she's helping you get more beautiful so you can go get some other brats. <laughs> Good skin is how you win. Number two. Number two. This one's a big one. And this is probably the one of the most um, important ones and the easiest ones to symbolize status. JD says, before or after a face wash, you wash your face first, right? You take off that surface layer of dirt and everything, and then you put the mask on. You let it get hard. Take care of yourself, right? Put it on, and then when you're done taking care of yourself, putting that on and let it dry, then you wash it off again with just like some nice warm water. Or honestly, for me, like wash, sometimes washing just gets so messy. I just get in the shower again, and I just throw the water on and wipe it all off and then it makes it a lot easier right what do i want from chick-fil-a i want a number one add bacon and cheese add lettuce and tomato with a large diet lemonade 50 percent diet lemonade 50 percent high c orange that's the order i would always give my girls and if they came back with an error i was like she can't this girl has problem taking orders this is going to be trouble down the road that's how you know they love you when they get the word right. <clears throat> I have a big beard clay mask around it. Yeah, I, like when I have the beard here, see, like my beard is like I don't I don't necessarily grow out like a beard, big beard, right? Um, but when you um, when you do it like uh, at my length, I just throw the clay mask kind of over it, or you could just put it in like the surrounding areas. But wherever your skin is showing. That's where you would like to put on the mask in order to get the impurities out, okay? How often are you doing that mask stuff? Once or twice a week. The more you do it, the longer you'll stay young. But Nigerian Dom, I think you're African-American. Like, you know, black people, you know, the black don't crack. You guys, like, look young forever. But I don't, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing as well for African-Americans. Give it a shot. Let's go to number two. Number two. This one's easy to do. And it's very, very important. You want to have straight and white teeth. Look at this. Look at the look at the whiteness on these bad boys. I just started whitening them again. Look at that. These bad boys are white as a motherfucker. White teeth are the is like seriously one of the quickest ways. To let somebody know that you're high profile, okay? Smile is legitimately so, so, so important. You absolutely need to be taking care of your smile. Now, a lot of people are smoking, vaping, drinking coffee every day, whatever. Go ahead, whip out your smartphone right now. Hit that reverse camera. Flip it over. Look, take a look. Take a look at your teeth right now. You got some yellow butter on there. You got you, uh, your teeth looking like, <laughs> you know, your, your, your teeth look like a stick of butter. Okay? Let me know. Right? Let me tell you guys what I use right here. Thanks to our man Edward from Los Angeles. He recommended this bad boy in the Masculine Empowerment Network. This is called the Dr. Song Teeth Whitening Kit. Dude, I cannot recommend this. Like, this thing is so fucking good. I, I cannot recommend this thing enough. Only 29 bucks. Okay? It comes with three syringes filled with the cream. Comes with a mouse a mouthpiece and this uh this this like uh Blu-ray, or I guess this is a UV ray. I don't know exactly the ray. Uh, but it's a it's a light that that uh, turns on and activates the gel, right? Kind of like fucking Captain America, right? It's pretty cool. Um, the Vita rays. <laughs> you take the gel, you put about one it one milliliter of the gel, which is like you know basically 
from the tip like the top there to like that little line, the little line increments, you use that for the top and bottom, right? So you split that between the top and bottom. You put that in your mouth and you push this button here, which is a timer. And this here will allow you to uh, whiten your teeth. Then the timer is for 10 minutes. I typically do it for 20. I'm all re I've only been doing this for about six sessions. I'm already getting people complimenting me on the whiteness of my teeth extremely imperative. Dr. Song is all, is not available in my country. Is his smile okay? Yes, it is. It's pretty much the same thing. When a woman sees an uh, 973, I see you on the line. I'm going to bring you on here in a second. Um, when women see that you have clean teeth, they automatically think about kissing you to an extent. They think like, oh, wow, he has nice teeth. Like He probably has good breath. You know, I wouldn't mind kissing him. But if he has some fucking yellow ass dangly things, like looks like you're fucking shooting up gang signs when you smile, you got to get your teeth whitened and straightened. You will not regret it. You absolutely will not regret it. Okay? If you want to get veneers, I am personally okay with that. I think veneers are a solid investment. Okay? Make sure they're done correctly. Make sure they're done by a proper doctor. But they are good as well. Okay, can't ever rot out of your mouth, which is great. Um, let's get let let's see. I'm planning on getting is Invisalign ASAP. Born with an open bite. Do it. Just do it. Get Clear Correct if you want. Clear Correct is cheaper than Invisalign. Myron from uh, Myron Gaines told us that Clear Correct is like a cheaper alternative to Invisalign. Clear Correct. Let's bring 973 online. 973, how are hey, you? Hey, what's up? It's Greg. Hey, Greg. Good, good. We, we talked yesterday. I know. I remember you. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so I got a question for you. Yes. Um, so I'm a guy that, uh, so I, you know, I do, I do a lot of grooming. Yes. So I groom myself all the time. I, you know, I shave and shit like that. But um, I have freeform dreads, like the J. Cole and Bob Marley and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you feel about that? Like like I keep myself like I work out, mm -hmm. I lift weights, I do planks, I do you know push ups and shit like that. I got I I don't have designer clothing, but I got like polo shirts, long sleeve shirts, like polo long sleeve. Like you'll never catch me mm -hmm. like bumming out. Like how do you feel about that? If you're gonna have dreadlocks, um, mm -hmm. they gotta be well maintained. They have to be well maintained. You got to be edged up. Make sure they don't stink. But honestly, I can't. Are you African American? You don't sound like it. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, African. Yeah. Oh wow, you you're yeah. almost as white yeah, as no you, bullshit. You sound as white as Myron Gaines. Uh, <laughs> and, and and Myron's Myron's not even white. <laughs> no bullshit. No bullshit. <laughs> uh, well, I mean that. Yeah. yeah well, for, for you know. For brothers, you know, that's a little bit more of like a rockable look. Like, you know, Little Wayne has them. Uh, I know ASAP Rocky had them for a little mm -hmm. bit. So, you know, mm -hmm. in that situation, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. If you're a white dude with dreads, I'd be like, all right, yeah, listen, yeah. dude, like, we got we to gotta have a talk here. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Uh, but I, as long yeah, as, no, lo as, long as, you're, as, you're, as you're lying, if you're, 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 um, you're lined up on the outside, are, are you getting lined up? Are you getting edge ups and shit every week or what? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do the edge ups and shit. You know, honestly, like this, I do it every two weeks. And this would be honestly, it's a case by case. I would need to see it. I would need to see what you look like. If you mm -hmm. want to, like, tell me your mm -hmm. like IG or something, or if you have photos of yourself, and I can print, I can look at them. I won't, I won't put them on the air, but um, oh, I, yeah, that's fine. I would need to check it out. All right, that's fine. So what is it? All right, no, no, I got you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so... I got um, you, though. But, you know, I mean, uh, just make sure they look clean and presentable and make sure they don't stink. Make sure they don't have any, like, you know, little white little lint things or anything in there. You know what I mean? Make sure it looks good. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, man. Because I, I, I knew that... Because um, I, I usually, like, uh, separate them. I usually separate them and then just let them do their own thing. But I always wash every week. I use aloe vera. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't stink, man. Like, I, I always keep my shit, like... Okay. ...on top, like, you know... Good. But they always do their own thing. Like they, 
Yeah, but like if they Congo, if they separate, like I'm just like separating them. Like, all right, this one's getting bigger. This one's getting like this. This one's getting like that. So like, that's all I do. That's 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 my thing. And I just wanted to know from like your perspective. I mean, that, do you feel like it? Do you kind of know in your gut. Do you feel like it's negatively affecting you in dating? Uh, maybe a little bit. And why do you have the dreads? May I ask? Uh, it's for it. It mainly is for myself. Like it's for mm -hmm. like I stand my own ground. Yeah, of That's course. That's why. I'm I'm not telling you to cut them. I'm just kind of like trying to figure out where you are mentally. No, no, no. Like, like I because uh, when it came down to like people telling me what to do, how to look, and how to do you know certain stuff, I said, you know what? I'm tired of listening to other people. I'm going to do it for myself, and that's why I, I started doing what I started doing was because you know like I'm going to stand my ground no matter what. Right. Like. If you tell me to do it, I'm not going to, I'm never going to let you like say to me, this is doing this or this is doing that. Right. Cause I still like, I'm still like, I, I do, um, I do freelance work. I'm a freelance designer. I do, you know, tech work. So, you know, my tax bracket is right. It's almost quite, almost where yours is. Not, 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 not high, but like mm -hmm. it's there. Like I do work for other clients and shit like that. So, but it never really affected me like that, you know, cause I still got work. Um, what, what kind of work are you like? Are you like a corporate? Are you wearing like suit and tie? Are you like, what, I mean, if you just kind of give me like a, uh, I do. So I'm a, so I'm a stagehand and a carpenter. So I do like, uh, so I build the sets. I go to this place and I set it, I set them up and stuff like that. Okay. So like, you know, I, I do that type of stuff. I do, I do it for like corporate shows and, uh, like freelance stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. That's actually pretty good business. Um, yeah, I can man. I could actually probably use you for the upcoming events that we're doing if we if uh, we'll talk about that another time, but um, yeah, like what I'm thinking is that to be to be quite honest with you, I think that mm -hmm. it is a niche look, but it it can work if it mm -hmm. works. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. That's what I would say. Like, I, I'll tell, uh, I I got pictures. I got pictures, man. I got like how they how they like. Yeah. How they were before and then Private, what they are now. You know now. what? Privately hit so, me up. No, on, I got you. Privately hit me up on Instagram, and are you are you following me on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't have an Instagram. I'll make one. Okay, or or just send me a shot. Send me email questions at modernlifedating dot com. I'll 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 reply to you for free and give you some advice on how they look. Sure, man. No problem. Awesome, Greg. Well, late, All right, late, thank you. Thanks for calling in, my man. Mm -hmm, no problem. Take care. Peace out. What a cool guy. Um, white teeth, boys. White teeth. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. It's so easy to get white teeth. Everybody listening to me right now, you can have a fucking beautiful set of pearly white teeth in two months. Tell me it doesn't positively affect you. Okay. White teeth, easy to do. Probably the fastest self improvement thing you could do, other than getting a nice haircut. I remember I met this guy in Tokyo, and he was like, "Yeah, I've kind of picked up girls before, but I'm having trouble." And I was like, "All right, let me meet this guy." I met this motherfucker, dude. It looked like he took a metal fork and shoved it into the electrical socket. And, like, he he looked like Freakazoid. His hair was, like, all over. It's an old WB animation reference for all you guys. His hair was all sorts of, like, just disgusting. And he was feeling bad about himself and all this shit. I was like, dude, first things first, we need to go get your ass a fucking haircut. And I made him, like, on the spot. I was like, we're going to get a haircut right now. And I took him and I sorted him out. And he looked better. Adam Simmons says, I'm British. Yellow teeth are the norm. Yeah, is so is not having sex with a lot of broads. If you want to stand out positively, whiten your teeth. Why would you want to be normal if the goal of dating is to stand out in a positive way, to signal high status? Did you not read what I just typed here? Like signal The top five things that signal high status for dating in 2020? Mate, if you're if you're trying to rationalize that yellow teeth are better than white teeth, Adam, mate, come on. Come on, brother. You're better than that. I know you're banging some broads or whatever, but still. 
You can't. You just can't try and rationalize that shit to me. Uh, Daniel Tapia, you want the link? Gotcha. Uh, I'll I'll drop. The, here's the Amazon link right here. This is the the Doctor Song, right there. There's a link. Best twenty nine dollars you'll spend. Number one. Numero uno. The number one thing that signals high status in today's day and age. You've got to have a hot body. Guys, people need to look at you and think that either he is he's fit or he he works out. He looks like he lifts. That's the kind of uh, look you want to be exuding with your body. Okay? You do not want to be a fat slob. You do not want to look like you work at Albertsons cleaning up on aisle seven. Okay? You do not want to be doing that. Obesity is going up. Being overweight is going up for men and for women. Look at celebrities in Hollywood. Look at musicians, okay? Nine times out of ten. look. You know what the greatest example are? Are like musicians, man. Like pop musicians. Like, dude, say what you will about him, but a guy who is always... On top of his physical appearance is my man. Uh, let me see. Is is my boy? Hate love him or hate him. Our boy Justin Bieber. If you look like this, girls are gonna go nuts. If you look like this right here, super lean. Like you could say like, oh, he looks he looks fucking skinny. He does look like he lifts. No, this right here is high status. If you can go to the beach and comfortably whip your shirt off and know you're gonna look good, that right there is status for days. Okay? This right here is and this is like the ideal player body right here. And you guys may be saying that he's skinny or whatever. Right here, if a girl sees this, you got to realize women are not strong like us. They're not big like us. This right here to a woman is a gigantic, strong, amazing guy. And he's cut as well. All those other girls will be like, oh, he's you'll, – you'll, of course, you'll have some girls who are like, oh, he's too skinny or he, he – I need a man's man. Bye, bye, bye. Those girls are usually old, dumb, and single. Don't listen to them. Okay? <clears throat> you want to be making sure at that you're looking real, real good. <clears throat> now, ideally, the <clears throat> like, 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 here's a perfect example. Look, look, take a look at this. You can see the the, the high status exudes right here. White teeth, perfectly groomed, like good haircut, all edged up here, right? Good body. Brand name clothes on. Okay. That right there. Like, you know, he kind of looks like a bum here with his hair. <clears throat> this is a bad example. But still, the bot is on point. Okay. You want to be making sure that you're looking good. I think this this is like the famous Calvin Klein one as well. Again, haircut is perfect. Skin, amazing. This is like, this is a great physique to have. Right? Bad boy sleeve tattoos. If you want to get tattoos, that's all you. Okay, <clears throat> take a look at him. Now let's take a look at somebody else, right? <clears throat> you don't want to be looking like this, okay? <laughs> you don't want to be at the beach 
<clears throat> slopping around, waiting for PETA to drag you back into the water, okay? No bueno. If you're trying, now, if you look like this, but you're working on your fitness, that's, you know, first and foremost, congratulations. You should be very proud of yourself and keep going until you hit your goal. Weight loss is difficult. You did not get fat overnight. You will not get fit overnight. One day at a time, one rep at a time, one calorie at a time. Maximize every single day and you'll make it happen. But <clears throat> looking at him here, I mean, come on. Do you really think women are lining up to bang a dude that looks like this? Now, obviously, he's a celebrity. So that's, I'm not talking about Jonah Hill himself, but just taking a look at his physique. Okay. You know, if you got a, if you're the t-shirt guy at the beach, like going in the water wearing a t-shirt, I mean, you know, it ain't it's just not high status. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but science is science and attraction is attraction. Okay. <clears throat> Hot body. It's numero uno. All right, Aaron, call in. Let's hear what you got to say. I know you're I know you're itching on I know you're itching at the edge of your sofa right now. Come on down. Call on in. Phone lines are open. 657 383 1318. What do you John, what do you think DDJ's match? Max notch count is, I think. Aaron, you got to call in. Come on, you killed me here. <clears throat> All right, buddy. All right, here, here you your, got me now. Here are your five minutes of fame. Let's hear your top five. My five minutes of fame. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. No, I'm, I'm not even going to uh, conflict with yours. I, I think your your top five is on point. Physique, number one. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Got to be able to, got to be able to inspire the ladies with a hard body. I mean, mm -hmm. if you don't have it, get after it. You know, it's yes. easier to get than most people think, but I digress. Mm -hmm. I'm all about the simpler, the, the simpler methods of doing things. There's a lot of complicated things out there that you can do, but, mm -hmm. There's a lot of simple things we can do too. Um, I just wanted to add on to the um, part about the, the, the earlier parts about keeping your surroundings clean and organized and tidy and all, and all of that. Um, I just have a small confession to make that that's always been my weakness. Like, and I never get, um, when I have girls that come over to my place, there's an immediate disconnect. Like they interact with me outside of my, of my home environment and they see me in nice tailored clothes. They see I have all that, all those other signs and signals that you talk about, uh, on point. Mm -hmm. And then I get them over to my place and it's, and it's a wreck because I'm, I'm just not normally a, uh, paying attention to a whole lot of those things. I got a lot of other things on the go. Uh, but that is critically important and something that I'm actually going to work on. So I'm going to go clean my toilet now. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But <laughs> now, um, yeah, it's uh, super important to have a nice environment, nice clean environment. The rest of it doesn't make sense if you don't have it. So, mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest of your show. Catch up with you later, my friend. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks Take care, else. buddy. Clean up, your, clean up your act, your place, and your diet. Get that status going. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. Peace out. And again, Aaron is the our man at Tailored Carnivore on Instagram. I'll give him a little, I'll give him a little glory here because he does look great. This is a guy who really understands. He's, he's a definitely a top-tier guy, understands the game very well. And again, this is him, you know. <clears throat> This is his progression over the year. Now he's all carnivore diet, so he's really lean and shredded here, and he's at, thir at 37 years old, you know? I think he looked good in number two here as well, Aaron. Look good. This is nice and buff, buff dude. Buff and ripped. This is, like, really good body. Um, You know, got a lot of his food photos. Here we go. See? Again, 
Take a look at the photo here on the right-hand side. See his hair? Nice and lined up, edged up. Beard is edged up, okay? Skin, nice and clean. Shredded body. Not super jacked, not like fucking Incredible Hulk. But this is what you need. If you guys want to be a top-level playboy, look like this. The game is 50% over. Not even, bro. Fucking 75%. Big difference. Big, 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 big difference. Okay? Think about that. Oh, we got another call tonight. 630. Guys, call in 657-383-1318. 630, what's up? What's up, John? It's Daniel. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, so I just want to say I do usually clean my uh, my bedroom. Like I have a... You know, a vacuum cleaner, I pass out throughout the whole house, my bedroom. I also, like, clean the dishes, all, all the good stuff because I was, you know, well-raised by my dad. My dad used to make me do that shit. But, bro, I can't put myself to fucking clean the toilet that often. I mean, it doesn't get that nasty, but I, I feel like I have to do it more. And you were spot on. As soon as you you doing that, as, as soon as you said that, I was like, fuck, man, I got to, like, step, step it up because some girls are coming. And sometimes they ask me for the bathroom, and I'm like, because I live with my brother, so it's like, mm -hmm. fuck. Mm -hmm. So do you know, like, in, in, in the dollar store, what, what do you buy to clean your toilet? Like, you buy and the sink and the shower. Cause... So listen, keep it simple, okay? If you want to clean the toilet, you could just get some. There's some really good stuff. Um, uh, I forgot the name brand, but it's basically, hold on, I can find it out real quick. So basically, if you want to get, uh, it's oh yeah, scrubbing bubbles in the USA, right? Scrubbing bubbles, all right. So, so you could do like this right here. So they have like a spray. It's this one right here. This right here, if you just spray this around the rim of your toilet, let it sit there for like five minutes, flush it, and then just swirl it around. Keep your mouth cl closed when you do that so you don't get any water in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, right there, that'll do oh, it. Fuck no. If you want to add a bonus as well, you could put I these little blue. You, can you, are you seeing the screen? You could put these little blue things in the toilet tank that make your water nice and blue. Right, right, right. A yeah, girl yeah. comes over, sees blue water in your toilet. She's like, God damn, is this the fucking Ritz Carlton? Like, that, that, <laughs> that's fancy as shit. I do that too because it automatically uh, helps with the scent. I mean, look, Daniel, you don't want your house smelling like fucking shit. You know what I mean? And eventually it no, will. No, fuck no. I and, hate it. And you'll get used to the smell, and then you'll be the guy who hit the smelly house, and you won't even fucking realize it. You know what I mean? No, 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 bro. Fuck that. I always open all the windows. Even if it's like minus 20 degrees outside, I still open all the windows and ventilate the whole fucking house. Like, fuck that, bro. That shit's just nasty. Because, like, I used to live in a... Uh, in a shared home, right? So I, I used to have just rented two rooms of the whole house and it was like a six room house, mm -hmm. right? And the people next to me, my neighbors were just so fucking nasty, bro. Like the smells that came out, mm -hmm. out of those fucking people's bedrooms were just so nasty that I, I, I needed to keep my, my room clean, like my quarantine zone, mm -hmm. bro, because that shit was just disgusting. So I do get you. And, uh, but yeah, I, I honestly, it's sometimes it's, like taking the actual time to go and buy the products, you know, uh, cleaning itself. I don't, I don't mind. I can just wake up one day early morning and just clean it. But fuck, like buying all this stuff and knowing what you need to have. That's like the annoying part for me, at least. Yeah. I yeah, mean, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. You got it. Cleanliness is important, man. I'm telling you. And like, you know, when, and sometimes girls would be sizing you up. So if they meet you on a date and like, damn, he's so well groomed, his fucking, uh, his, his clothing are on his on point, and then she's gonna get in your car when you're driving home. She's like, "Oh my god, his car is so clean." That's another reason you guys gotta have clean cars outside and inside, okay? She's gonna be there, I'm like, oh "My god, this guy's car is clean." Then she gets in your house. She's like, "Holy shit, his house is clean. It smells like vanilla cinnamon. What the fuck?" <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. She goes to see the bathroom. Yeah. It's immaculate. She's like, "All right." So you know, a lot of girls, you guys don't realize this. They go to the bathroom. Sometimes they 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 do a little preliminary check on their pussy because they know it's about to go down and uh they do a little cleanup sometimes and then they oh, yeah. they make their decision and then they come out like all right i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let him fuck me you know <laughs> and you know but having a dirty house is the app is the complete opposite is the complete opposite it's pussy repellent 
it can dry up some pussy real quick, also, man. Also, another thing that I noticed is that girls feel more relaxed. Uh, like in your bed and your bedroom in general, and they feel like more comfortable moving around, you know, doing more like na- more of that nasty shit. Mm-hmm. If they see that you're a clean person, you know, yes. I'm a clean person it, myself. I got my bedroom un- unlocked, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. But uh, or at least when girls come over, because mm-hmm. usually I'm just working all day. But like the problem is that some guys just have such a shitty hygiene that girls will like tense up at the thought of touching anything like <laughs> apart from even like the fucking bed like you said though you like the oh it's just nasty bro it's just nasty <laughs> like, i can't i can tell her that but yeah dude thank you so much i really do appreciate it never thought like this would be one of the things that i i'd be you know uh i'd be doing like in the fucking red pill show like oh yeah clean everything clean everything this is this is great bro Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you for calling in, Daniel. No problem, man. Take care. Peace. That's going to do it, boys. Number five, fashion. Number four, clean home. Number three, clean, good skin. Number two, white teeth. Number one, hot body. Gentlemen, I will see you here tomorrow, 9 a.m., where we're having Charlie from CultivateCrypto.com on the Tokyo Crypto Show Come on down. We're going to be doing an interview with the man on Thursday. And then Friday is free consultation. Friday and interview with the man, episode number 200. Join me as we celebrate together on this wonderful occasion. This Friday, 200 episodes. We did it. Thank you all for participating, supporting, donations, booking consultations, joining Body Language Mastery, Masculine Empowerment Network. 2020 is a year of plenty. We're going to get things going even faster and better than they've ever been before. I hope you stick around. I hope you develop, and I hope to see you next time. Hit that subscribe button. All you guys watching on the replay. Staying to this point, actually hearing me say thank you, watching the replay, especially thank you guys. You guys are the ones that are going to win. And until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.